everyone, welcome back to today's plugin tutorial. We're looking at the plugin page for Ultimate Freeze. This is a updated plugin that I released, recoded, and everything. So um, you can see the plugin page. We have almost all five star reviews, except from a few people who just didn't have the updated version yet, but they still had the old version with bugs. New plugin, really good. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy the plugin tutorial. We're going to take a look at the plugin itself and the configs later on. So let's hop straight into this plugin tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another plugin tutorial video. Today you are going to be watching a review on my own plugin, Ultimate Freeze. The update came out for Ultimate Freeze a few weeks ago where I completely recoded the plugin, everything new about it. So this is an updated tutorial. At the beginning of the tutorial you guys saw the plugin page and then right after this part you're going to see the configure files on how you can configure everything in the plugin. The way I'm showing it off is completely default. There is nothing changed in the configure files or anything. Um, the main command in the plugin is slash freeze. You can also do slash ss. Both commands work the same. Uh, I have my little test account over here named noodles0711. He'll, you can see his screen in the top left corner of your screen. Um, so pretty much, I'm just going to freeze him. So slash freeze, noodles, you can also tab names. Boom. You can see his screen goes dark. If I switch to him and I try to move at all, you're going to see the GUI pop up. This GUI has an option in the configure file you'll see later on where you can toggle it if you want the GUI or do you just want a message in chat that's sent to them over and over again. So this is the GUI. You say, warning, you have been frozen. All of this is customizable. You can change the item. You can change all the text. And it says, you have been frozen. Hello. You must go in TS in five minutes. The link is ts.myservic.net you can find all of the info on that in the config you can change all the messages everything about that if you try to leave the game you'll get this notification down here warning noodle 0711 left the server while frozen this can be sent to any staff that has the um permission if i try to join back i am still frozen so it remembers the player that is frozen so if they try to join back after they leave they they won't be able to get out of the ss so that's pretty much the entire plugin there's not really much you can try to drag anything out of here it won't work uh they can't move um i can't kill him like if i unfreeze him i can hit him if i freeze him i cannot hit him he can't be harmed by anything he's just frozen there so if it turns out he's not hacking or something you can unfreeze him and nothing will happen but that's pretty much the entire plug and we're gonna hop over to the config now you'll see me in a different time frame i recorded the config like a day and a half ago and i'm just getting around to recording this but you can figure out all of that in the description there are all the links to the plugin are in the description all the you can change everything in the plugin it's fully customizable if you have any issues we have a great support system on discord you can come to so pretty much we're gonna leave it there thank you guys so much for watching the plugin tutorial we'll hop over to the config now and um hopefully you enjoy my plugin all right everybody here we are in the plugin config files um so you have the main config where you can toggle the update, if you can use the GUI, what effects, like if you, they can be, if they're blinded, if they can't break blocks, if they should be able to break blocks, if PV, people can't PVP them, if they can't use commands, if they can, if they don't die, all of it. Um, so you can configure all that in the first config file, which is the config.yml file. The other file that we are able to configure stuff in is the GUI.yml file. This is where you can configure what's in the GUI, what the item name is, um, what um, the messages are. And then the final one is the messages.yml where you can configure all the messages in the plugin. If you don't use the GUI, you can configure the top point for what will be sent to them every few minutes. And yeah, so thank you all for watching so much, and we will see you guys in the next plugin tutorial.